In this presentation we're going to look at the Akake information criterion. Uh, now I'm not absolutely 100% how to uh, how to uh, uh, sure as to how to pronounce that surname. It's a Japanese surname. Uh, Akake as I believe is the correct pronunciation. But if I'm wrong and you're right, I'll take your word for it. Okay, so it, we might informally call it the AIC, and I'll just call it that just to sort of spare myself any pronunciational embarrassments. AIC. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to R. So this is the help file, by the way. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'll just make that first off, I'll make that a little bit easier to read. GUI preferences, make that 16 and bold. And um, what I will do there first off is I'm going to use a data set called the MT Cars data set. This is an inbuilt data set in R. So if you just type in MT Cars, uh, be careful about the, um, it's all lowercase, so be careful about that. So if you just type it in, you'll get AI, uh, this data set. Also, I brought up the help file there for AIC, so that's what we were looking at first. The, the, the command is AIC, capital A, capital I, capital C, okay? So, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use this data set, empty cars, and I'm going to fit various models to predict miles per gallon, okay? <laughs> so, miles per gallon is my response variable, or my dependent variable, and I'm going to try co other combinations of these other variables as predictor variables. So, weight and QSEC and so on, okay? So, let's have a look at a few of those. I have one here already, fit one where I'm trying to predict miles per gallon using cylinder and weight only, just those two. Now that's my equation there, my regression equation. But what I want to do is just actually see how well it, uh, the model works. So I would type in AIC, fit one, okay. So I think, I'm, yeah, now what to do? How do you interpret that? So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna uh, compare this to a different model I fitted earlier on, okay? So I'm just going to uh, put that through again, and let's look at a different model that I fitted also. Here what I have is miles per gallon explained by cylinder and weight, okay, but also a third predictor variable called AM, okay. So this is very similar, this is fit 2, and it is very similar to fit 1, okay? it just has an extra predictor variable, okay? So just to recall, fit one is just these two predictor variables to explain miles per gallon. Fit three is these three, okay? So you think, okay, surely you're, if you're using more information, the model is better, so how do we test that, okay? Well, we you, what we're gonna do is compute the AIC for uh, fit two, Okay, and what we're going to do is compare the uh, c compare the AIC for fit one and fit two, and see which one is the best. Now, just as a sort of quick remark, smallest uh, AIC indicates best better model. Okay, it's not the best model, but the better of two models of uh, several models, okay? So we might have several potential candidate model might be a better word there, uh, but it's so. So like what we'll do now is we're going to clear that and we'll just type in AIC fit one, okay? So now we'll do it for fit two and it is actually larger, okay? This means Fit one is actually a better model. Now, the important thing here is overfitting. Okay, so I'm not really going to get into what overfitting is in this presentation, but essentially, what the AIC does is, it, uh, in, uh, as well as other things, it acts as a guard against overfitting. Okay. So the more uh, the more parameters you fit to your model, a penalty is imposed to make sure that you don't add in uh, more explanatory variables, more predictor variables, 
unless they're actually genuinely worth it. You just don't put it in for the sake of it. So this has actually imposed a penalty in FIT2 when we put in that extra predictor, vari predictor variable AM and actually it made the model worse because the AIC guards against overfitting. I'm just going to show you a counterexample to that. What I have here now is FIT3, okay, DRAT, WEIGHT, AM, and FIT4, okay, so I have two different models here, okay, and essentially just to sort of compare one against the other, see which of the two is better, okay. Now, this is DRAT, WEIGHT, and AM. Uh, draft weight and VS. Okay, so essentially, just to say a straightforward comparison, there's no discussion on there's no discussion about overfitting here just yet. So AIC uh, fit three. Okay, looks good. Fit four. Okay, so essentially, what that tells me is that the model with VS is better than the one with AM. Okay, now. So that was a straightforward enough one. Which which of the two numbers there was actually? I'll just I, I went through that very quickly. Which of the two numbers there was lowest? And it was AIC for fit four. So fit four was a better model. Now what I'm going to do now is look at fit five. Here we have draft weight AM and VS. Okay. So what we have here is the predictor models for all uh, three variable the fit three. And here we have the predictor mod, uh, variables for fit four. So draft, weight, and VS. Okay. So what? How good is that? So AIC of fit three. Let's do all three again. So that has AM as well as the other two. Fit four has VS. Okay, that was better. Let's see fit five. Okay. So it's actually not as good as fit four. So essentially what your best your best bet is to take out AM, okay, in these situations. So you uh, essentially like in some cases you might uh, might get a better model, get get a worse model. Let's actually just sort of try it out. What I'm gonna do here is create fit six just to sort of uh, hammer home the point. Here I'm going to uh, predict miles per gallon by draft and um, actually sorry let's just check what fit 5 was miles per, draft and weight so fit 6 is a linear model where miles per gallon is explained by draft and weight uh, for the data set empty cars I've gone a bit too quick to that. There we go. Plus sign there. So AIC of fit six hundred sixty six. Okay. So a uh, useful point here is that it, uh, for here we uh, have fit three, which uh, so a adding AM made it worse. Whereas when I had fit four, it actually made the model better. So sometimes. Well, it, it depends on the case. Here I just have draft and a, uh, weight. Here I have draft, weight, and AM, and it made the model worse. Here I have draft, weight, and VS, and it made the model better, essentially. Or made for a better model, adding in VS. Alright, so that's enough on AIC, the ICAC information criterion.